because there was a U.S. DOJ. Remember, guys, anytime you want to see the press release, DOJ press release, it's always got to be the DOJ website. Six indicted international scheme to defraud Qatari school founder and then launder $1 million in illicit proceeds. Nigerian national known as Hush, Pus Hush Puppy admits uh, money laundering in school, financing scam, and additional cyber and business email compromise schemes, which we had been reading before. And uh, yeah, so there were six. Of, so it was the Los Angeles office that did the case um, and the six people I, uh, uh, that were indicted. Uh, so Abdul, Rama, uh, Abdul uh, Rahman, Amar, uh, Imran Juma, a.k.a. Abdul, 28 of Kenya, and Kelly Shibizu Vincent, 40 of Nigeria, to defraud the Qatari business person by claiming to be consultants and bankers who could facilitate a loan to refinance construction of the planned school. Juma allegedly posed as a facilitator and consultant for the illusionary uh, illusory bank loans while Abbas played the role of Malik as Wells Fargo banker in New York according to court documents. Oh my god, bro. And then Yusuf Adikina, I can't even pronounce that, 26 of Brooklyn, New York, allegedly played a role in the fraud, assisting Abbas with a call to a victim posing as Malik. Special agents of the FBI arrested uh, this dude in New York uh, on July 22nd. So yeah, man, it was a big conspiracy, man. And then they said the FBI is investigating this matter as a part of uh, Operation Top Dog. The FBI thanks the government of the UAE and the Dubai Police Department for their substantial assistance to the matter. The FBI also thanks the Kenyan Office of Attorney General, Office of Director of Public Prosecutions, and Director of Criminal Investigations for their substantial assistance. So as you guys can see, man, <clears throat> uh, you know, this case was like all over the place. Like this is a, a big international case. You know what I'm saying? Um so that's what that's what um so uh, oh hold on well this one came hold on okay all right now it's all making more sense now, th and this goes back to my, this is fantastic, actually, that's perfect timing. So, so here's the main, this is the main one, right? So this is, this is when he got arrested the first time. So this is the complaint that we actually read. So now it's all making sense. Nigerian National brought to U.S. to face charges of conspiring, conspiring to launder hundreds of millions of dollars from cyber crime schemes. And then this is what we read before, guys, right, for the BEC stuff, and we read the FBI affidavit. Etc. Um, let's see here. The FBI led the investigation of Abbas, and the United States Secret Service was also involved and provided substantial assistance. The FBI further thanks the government of the United UAE and the Dubai Police Department. And then, okay, all right. So now, now this is all making all sense because I can read between the lines here. Okay. Whew. So now it all makes sense. This is what probably happened. Co-conspirator one, obviously, as we know, got arrested. We know that for a fact. And then he cooperated in co-conspirator two as well. And they helped get Abbas, a.k.a. Hush Puppy. Hush Puppy gets arrested and he's like, hey, I know more people that are involved in this. And what does he do? He provides information and snitches. And that is why a big part of his plea agreement is, um, is redacted the way it is. And then we just accidentally pulled up this, uh, this other case, this other um, thing on the press release, and six other people got indicted. And those six other people that got indicted, guaranteed, came from our boy Hush Puppy because they got indicted a year later. Because those are the people that were helping him with everything. Because this was an international money laundering slash fraud scheme that they had going on all over the place from Canada to New York to the UAE, etc. So that is why his plea agreement was um, redacted so much because he was providing information on other people that they were trying to get. So that makes sense as to why all that was going on. So guys, we solved the case, God damn it. We know why. That plea agreement was redacted to freaking hell because he was definitely cooperating with them. And I, if I'm not mistaken, he identified someone else that was like a law enforcement officer in one of these foreign countries. It might have been in Nigeria or something like that. And uh, he provided info on them as well. So yeah, man. Yeah. So that's the case, guys. Let's hit some of these super chats.